Can goes aerial this time. Flicked hard past that man at mid wicket to the shorter side of the ground. Driven past Ryan Patel at short cover. That'll be four more. And that's four more. Taylor from this end. Driven aerially. Straight to bit off. McCann looking to be aggressive again. This time it doesn't pay off. Bit of width and that's hammered past point. Haynes picks up his first boundary. Pulled first up from Haynes. It's a one bounce four. Well, that's travelling and that's gone away for six. Full allocation. Mm -hmm. Get it in action again but can't stop that one. There's this one going. It's four. Yeah, in the blast, they only won three matches. They finished bottom of the group. Uh, he's found the gap there. In a way, a bit like the traditional way of playing one day cricket, where teams had a look and then gradually got going. Yeah. Well, there's a half century for Ben Slater. Oh, a bit of improvisation, it works as well. It's nicely played. Swatted away and four. Well. Big sweep from Jack Keynes. And that sails over the short boundary. Yeah. It also brings up Haynes' is half century. It's his first six of the day for Burns and Surrey. This time it's a bit too leg side from Majid. Pulled in front of square. No protection there. Slater doesn't really get hold of it, but it's still a one. Pulled in front of square again. It's exactly that shot. Bit of width and Haynes drives firmly in front of square. Driven through Ryan Patel at short cover and that will be four more for Ben Slater. Leach, Robinson. Bit of width and cut away for four. Slater pulls that one for six. Pulled between the two fielders in the deep really good placement from Haynes cut over backward point that will be four and that will also be wow that's gone miles that's, massive. that's gone absolutely miles bit shorter out look to go big again McCurr dragged his length back and this time, Haynes couldn't quite get hold of the ball. This time, Slater does get hold. Where's this going? Well, uh, Nathan Barnwell watches it sail over his head. It depends on how much it's been whacked around. Uh, Slater, six. Very well caught in the crowd. And again, and he's lost that one as well. Uh, he's picked out mid wicket straight to Ben folks Slater goes again new ball please so Maggie back into the attack now where's this going oh out to long off and really well taken so Slater 149 and then takes his 150th run I dare say if that was the last over of the innings you might have tried to look to put that in the road yeah. but He'll take his 150. Well, that's big. Fence does its job, just as the bus goes past. Oh, wonderfully picked up. If you get in. That's drilled, but straight to Ben Folks. 
So McCurr with the last ball. Thrashed down the ground. They're going to come back for the second. It's almost pointless because there will be a run out if they do. So a single off the final ball. Bit of width and that's... Good start. Dispatched to the boundary. Nudged into the leg side. What a shot from Ryan Mattel. That's six. That's the first six of the Surrey innings. Shot. Really good from Sibley. Second time already. Flicked airily behind square on yep. the leg side and Patel will pick up another boundary. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely enormous. Sibley used his feet again and that's comfortably over the head. Patel goes aerial again, hits the ball and doesn't bother running from the railway end of the ground. Mm. And that's four more drilled past the bowler. Short. And cut through of the first power play. Sibley uses his feet. Doesn't quite get hold of it, but does beat the man at short mid wicket. Patel gives himself a bit of room, but finds a fielder at deep mid wicket. James, whose second over was very impressive. Excellent shot from Geddes. Beats the man. Made uh, 28 earlier. Well, that's well hit. Is it enough? It is. Dennis goes hard on, Haynes doesn't see that. There we go. Slightly inside out. And out towards the long off boundary for six. Oh, he's got him. Tom Moores. Well, that's a fine catch. And Lord gets his wicket. And Gillis is on his way for 34. Big shout and given. Uh, Rory Burns' lean time continues in this competition. A slightly awkward replay. He wasn't totally in control of that, Dom Sibley, but it's enough to bring him a half century. So after a difficult start in this competition, he's begun to find some form. 149 in the last match and 50 not out. Power to add. Well, that's a bad ball. That's hoisted away. That's the biggest of the day. It was possibly the biggest long hop of the day as well, mind you. Sibley uses his feet, goes aerial, but that's gone straight into the air. And Lord takes a good high catch. It's his fourth of the day. What a performance. Pulled straight to the man at deep fine leg and Lord has his fifth. What a performance from the Nottinghamshire youngster. His first five wicket haul in 50 over cricket for Nottinghamshire. You have to play too many shots. Well, there's a decent shot. That's going for six. It's a good start to the over. There's another one. Oh, hit really hard. Take a bit of that, and there's Conor McCurr's half century. And it's come in very good time as well. 27 balls. What's McCurr's approach going to be? To go big, to go very big. Oh, that's a miscue. Hamid is underneath it, should be out. Oh, he's dropped it. Well, there's a bit of swirl on that. Well, that's six of them. Overs available. That's cracked high in the air. This could be it. Taking it long on. Taylor is out. And Surrey have been bowled out for 271. 